dragon. Uh, this chord progression is so boring. Ugh. Right. <clears throat> Today we're at the lovely harbor in Hong Kong to review this belt. Oh dear. Today we're going to review, not this, this. This is not what you think it is because I just took the felt pouch from um, another pen. Anyway, this is a Sailor King of Pen demonstrator. It is big. Hold on, size comparison. Oh. No, it's gonna blow. Sailor Sapporo Mini is this sized. Sailor Pro Gear is this sized. King of Pen is just a tad bigger. And then we talk about this one. Uh, it's a demo. Some people don't like demos. I did not buy it because it was a demo or anything. I bought it because. It was one of the cheaper King of Pens. Uh, they have this is a 21k nib in its in the largest size possible, and usually comes in only a medium and medium and broad size nibs, as well as all the specialty nibs, which, like the crazy ones, like the Eagle, the Emperor Eagles, the the, the Naginatas. Fun fact: This is my first Rodia pad. I still have it. I still have like 10 sheets. So, let's just begin. This is the Sailor King of Pen. Pens? Pen? King of Pens? King of Pen. I think it's King of Pen. Oh dear, doesn't matter. The King of Pen, right up front. Um, I am exceedingly biased. I happen to like the body shape of the sailors, w whereas pilots are like stick thin around the body. Sailor has a little bit of chubbiness around the edges, which somehow makes for a slightly uh, more, more pleasant writing experience. I like the extra girth around the grip area. Um, it's a big nib. Medium nib. I'm using some brown ink. It might be Iroshi Zuku. I'm, I'm just going to guess. Which leads to my first point, which is it writes really well upside down. It, it's like I have many fine nibs, but when you turn this over and you write with it, it's also really smooth. It, it, it's amazing. And so, if you want to conserve ink, you can do that. I did that occasionally when. I do want a more drier writing experience, but for the most part, you can see it's a nice, very super soft, super soft. It's a slightly soft uh, nib, mostly because of the size. It sort of reminds me of the M1000 response to writing. It's just because it's big enough that that um, when you write with it and apply a little bit of pressure, the tines will open up just a little to give to to to, to, to give some line variation. This works right out of the box. It's really smooth in the sailor sort of way, like like a really smooth uh, pencil. Slight downside: it is it can be a bit uh, ink hungry because of just how it writes. It, it, it writes uh, reasonably wet and and and, and soft, so, so so ink usage is is pretty hefty, unless you write upside down, which is a totally legitimate way of using it. So yeah, Sailor King of Pen. Unfortunately, friend isn't here, so I can't do an official one minute challenge. Since we're at the harbor anyway, I have a watch. Oh wait, it has no timer. Ugh. Can I be trusted to, to, to count my own one minute down? I know where to start. Uh, let's go. Oh dear. Start with 
with the convention center. Oh, it's nothing like the convention center. It's a whole bunch of buildings. And then there's some some, some stuff. Some lines out there. It's a whole bunch of buildings. Point. There's a Bank of China. Uh, it's an AA building, I've got 20 seconds left. Uh, Jardine House, got plenty of smelly things over there. We have a Ferris wheel. Dean. We have a massive IFC! Uh, uh, five, five minutes left. Uh, what am I going to do with IFC? It's nothing with IFC. Okay, there we go. That was awful. <laughs> Hong Kong skyline. Some people might consider this a little expensive. Not if you go to Japan and buy it. If you like big pens, this is comparable in size to like the 149. Uh, also, also the Twisby. Okay, it's not as thick, but but in terms of length. In terms of length, it's, it's definitely there. It's just a bit thinner. So, if you like a slightly bigger one, um, no, you can't turn it into eyedropper. There are metal bits inside. For a really unique writing experience, given that I already like the sailor writing experience by default, pretty spectacular. And, yeah. If you can find one for cheap, they're totally worth it. Sorry. Distracted by ink. Okay, that's ink. Ink spill? What's going on? Okay, it's just ink. Yes. I think this is one of the most unique writing experiences in a good way. Uh, the nib is has a slight softness. You can write both sides of it if you want to be a bit more conservative. Just slip it upside down. It's a very nice, smooth, 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 extra fine line. Comparable to, let's say, a platinum EF or a, or like the new cheap crappy 0.2, and it's smooth as well. It, it's it's very smooth amongst all the extra fine lines I have. So, if you can find one, go for it. If not, just just try it out and 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 enjoy the luxurious. Slightly soft, uh, and 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 unique sailor feedback. I think it's something to do with like how they how they grind their the the tips. It's like it's like different from quite a few of the other the, the other two Japanese manufacturers. So yeah. Will you marry me? What if she, like, says no?